So the new Atom Pro from Powerpax. Due to so many customers' um, feedback about what they do and they don't like about the Atom, we've decided to take on board what the, the consumers said and we've changed some bits. So the new Atom Pro has four main things that we've changed. One of them being the outputs on the front. We had lots of you asking about a USB-C Type-C output, so we've put that on the front as well. And also with the new uh, technology, we've also changed it to QC3 as well. So you've got two QC outputs on there. You've got a USB-C and a USB-A standard output. So if you've got things that need low power um, charging, that's all covered on there. So that's the first one we changed. The second thing is we had lots of feedback about the torch. The torch coming on in the bag because if you press and hold this, the torch comes on. So what we've done is we've re-engineered the torch. The, way, the, the torch will now only come on if you press the button on the front to turn the display on and then you press and hold the torch. The torch will then activate. To turn it off, press and hold again, the torch will turn off. And as long as that display is not on in the front, the torch won't come on. So if you put it in your bag and you press this, it's not going to come on. So that's the second thing we covered. The third thing that we had lots of feedback about was the display. A bit glary sometimes at night from the CPAP sufferers, the fishermen when it's in the bivvy or when it's in the tent. This can get a bit glary at night. So what we've done is we re-engineered the display as well. What the display does now is it turns off. So you can actually plug in your devices and the display won't come on. You'll see that your device is charging in a normal way whether it comes up with a power button or the power symbol to show you it's charging, but the display won't show you. But if you want a status display to see how it's charging or how much power is left on the battery, you just give it a quick press, it will show you the battery percentage and it will also show you via the output, the QC or anything like that, the AC is actually charging on there. Now, a safety point that we have to keep on here is the AC. Because we're renowned for the AC plug socket, on the display, if you turn the AC plug socket on, which is a double press, you'll actually see that it says AC out on there. That tiny little AC out will remain on there as long as that AC out puts on. So if you come to put it away and that AC is on, you know to turn it off. The fourth thing that we actually changed as well was the 12 volt output. We had lots of feedback from uh, the campers who are using fridges and travel fridges and things like that, that when their fridge turns off into standby mode because it's at its temperature, the atom would turn itself off because of the last technology we had, the power detection. So what we change now is we've actually changed the 12 volt socket so that as soon as something's plugged in there, it will turn the 12 volt socket on. As long as something's plugged in there, the 12 volt socket will stay on. So if you've got fridges, like I say, that have a power detection mode, the fridges will be able to remain powered when they turn back on because the, the, the atom will keep the power going. As always, we try and keep as much information as we can. So we've put a quick startup guide on the back there. So it tells you how to work, operate everything as in the torch, uh, the AC plug socket. Also know what to plug in. All right, you can't plug in your three bar fires, your hair dryers and all that kind of stuff. Like anything uh, that we do with the atom, in the pack, you also get um, the new case. The new case has a, design, a flap in there, which protects the atom when it's in the case. As you can see there, when the case is shut, this then protects the front of the atom to stop it against any scratches. We've also um, redesigned the USB cable. Uh, customer feedback again from the, the star shape one that we did. Sometimes the cable would bend and wear out. So we've redesigned it with a three-way junction and this actually helps it uh, last a bit longer. And again, it's got the stress relief on there as well. In the case, you get the charger, the mains charger, and of course, you get the car charger so it can be recharged in the car. The Atom Pro is still compatible with the solar panel. So there's no need to change any of the solar panels that you've got. If you've got one of the older models, the solar panel will work just as well as it did with your older version. And any solar panel will work from 40 watt up to 200 watt because of the protection in here anyway. So if you've got your own solar panels on top of your RVs or anything like that, it'll still work just as well. So that's the new Atom Pro from Powerpack. If you're in the market for the latest Powerpack on the market, then I strongly suggest you look at the Atom Pro.